The 26th of October saw hours of clashes between protesting students and police on Rhodes University campus. Police proceeded to fire rubber bullets at protesters, lecturers and the media. At various stages it was a shoot on sight situation. It didn't matter who you were. The 26th of October was also my first real taste of covering a protest as a journalist. In the moment, I felt an adrenaline-driven confidence. I was shaky, but I knew what I needed to do. After all, covering protests will be part and parcel of a TV reporter's job description. Sofiso Ngomezulu has been one of my best friends over the last three years. He too was caught up in the clashes on the 26th. I asked him about what he remembers about my journalistic goals that I have had since my first year. And then next thing I see this guy holding this massive camera and just basically in journalism mode. And I was trying to go like, Nick, no, don't go in, don't go anywhere near the police because the police were basically just shooting and they were like really um, like acting like like acting unreasonably. And that's when I actually realized that actually, you know what, this is uh, basically what this guy wants to do. And I basically, um, I, I basically saw his dreams and basically saw everything that he's, you know, aspiring to become. ENCA to me is kind of synonymous to, you know, Nick Anderson. So every time I see um, ENCA, I think Nick Anderson, because he's, it's, it's like something, because at, at first, you know, when we were talking, ENCA has always been there, but then you know, when he's kind of like, you know, fantasizing and, you know, sort of like dreaming big, he's always talking, always spoke about uh, working as a, you know, as, as an anchor, basically, in, uh, in the UK. But uh, here in South Africa, he's just always been in ENCA from the get-go. He's just always being wanted to be like one of the, you know, the reporters uh, of like ENCA. <laughs> And the oh, shit. And the oh, no, Nick, go away! Come here! Come here! Nick! Don't run down there! Only after the situation calmed down on campus did I truly realize how I was feeling. My body began to shake as I came to terms with it all. I was threatened with arrest for doing a job which I wasn't even officially employed to do. I couldn't sleep that night. But I wasn't deterred. I knew this was what I wanted what I had spent the last three years studying for. My slight fear was nothing on the larger scale of things. When events like this happen, the public need to see and hear about it. That's why I'm a journalist.